Summer is right around the corner and one way that I wanted to prepare our home and our family was to prepare some freezer meals and get them in our deep freezer ready to pull out on a busy day. Maybe we've been out late and I don't feel like cooking or I can just plan it into my day that when we get back I'm gonna pull out one of these meals and we'll be good to go. So in this video I'm gonna share with you 10 freezer meals that I prepped all in one day it was a lot to do all in one day, but I am so glad I did it and we are set for this summer. So the 10 meals I made are quiche and banana muffins, egg roll in a bowl, spaghetti squash taco bake, cauliflower curry, meatloaf and mashed potatoes, sweet potato chili, arroz con pollo, sausage and pepper cream sauce, Greek turkey burgers, and stromboli. Like I mentioned, this did take me all day. It took me about seven hours, I'd say, from the time I started till my kitchen was completely cleaned up and all the meals were put away. And of course, in that time, I am also taking care of a baby and a toddler. I did it while my girls were at school. So it, while that is a long amount of time to dedicate to this, it is easily going to save me that much time, if not more, over the summer when I don't have to cook on a certain day and I really won't have any cleanup because everything is just kind of ready to go. A lot of the meals that I made also had similar ingredients so I could chop and prep a lot of ingredients one time and then use that in a couple different dishes and then I'm using the same pots and pans over and over and whisks and spoons and bowls so I'm kind of just rinsing and reusing as I was making all the meals so that saved a lot of time as well when I went to clean up at the very end. Yes, my kitchen was a wreck, but I only have so many pots and pans, so I was already kind of washing and reusing as I went, so it wasn't a terrible amount to clean up at the end, and again, I won't have that cleanup to do when we serve these meals in the future. So I pre-planned the meals, I had all the ingredients, all the packaging items on hand, so let me go ahead and show you all the meals I put together and how I multitask the entire process. Prepping these meals gave me the opportunity to use up some veggies that I had on hand that I didn't want to go to waste. Things like peppers and onions I used in multiple dishes, so I diced up and sauteed a ton of them in some olive oil, salt and pepper to add in to the quiches first, and then a couple of other meals later on. I also got some chicken simply prepared with oil and seasonings into the oven to bake while I made the banana muffins. I've made a lot of banana bread and muffins in my life, but I have to say these may have been the best I've ever made. The recipe was really simple. It called for maple syrup instead of sugar, and they just baked up so perfectly, which you'll see later. Then I started on the quiche filling. You can use six to eight eggs, depending on the size of your pans. And then I like to add some freshly grated cheese, heavy cream, the sauteed peppers and onions, or really you can use any vegetables you have on hand, any kind of breakfast meat, and some salt and pepper. Then for these quiches, instead of a crust, I lined the bottom of the pans with just an even layer of frozen shredded potatoes before filling. While the chicken was in the oven and the muffins and quiches couldn't go in just yet, I started cooking some pork for my egg roll in a bowl. I added some sesame oil, coconut aminos, ground ginger, and garlic powder. Meanwhile, I started browning some ground beef on the back burner. Then I shredded up some carrots and green and red cabbage because I already had it in the fridge, but you could also just use a bag of coleslaw mix, which would be really easy. My muffins were ready at this point, and just look at how perfect they turned out. In went the quiches at 375 for about a half hour. Then I added the carrot and cabbage mixture to the pork and seasoned all of it once more. This is seriously such a quick and easy dish. It hardly needs to be prepped ahead of time, but if you're in the mood for Chinese food, you can serve it with some rice and broccoli and you have takeout in minutes. Next, I prepped my taco bake with some of the cooked ground beef that I seasoned with spices like cumin, paprika, chili powder, oregano, turmeric, but of course you could just use taco seasoning. 
I added cooked peppers and onions and half of this jar of three bean salsa. I did prep the spaghetti squash the night before just in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour so it was ready to go for this dish. I just added in the meat mixture and stirred it all to combine and then topped it with the other half of the cheese that I had grated earlier and this dish was done. To the second half of the ground beef, I added a can of diced tomatoes, tomato paste, the other half of that three bean salsa, chili spices, beef broth, and a medium diced sweet potato, which you could also buy frozen to make it even easier. Then I added red beans, pinto beans, and some frozen corn. This made a ton, so we actually had half for dinner that night and froze the other half. At this point, my quiches were done and will be perfect breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Up next, a head of cauliflower that I cored and chopped and then tossed with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Popped it in the oven to roast at 420 for about 40 minutes to get nice and crispy. Then I chopped up one potato per person and got them boiling in some salted water. To make my meatloaf, I used half pork and half ground beef. I added two small diced onions, or you could use one medium, two eggs, salt and pepper, and some of this Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce, but you could also substitute ketchup and mustard. When my potatoes were done, I added butter, sour cream, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Both of these fit perfectly in these loaf pans, and since the meatloaf is raw, it will need to bake for about 90 minutes at 350. For the cauliflower curry, I started sauteing onions and garlic in olive oil, and then added a can of coconut milk and some freshly grated ginger. Then I added curry powder and turmeric, salt and pepper. I love using diced potatoes or sweet potatoes in this dish, but to make it even easier, I just tossed in a few of those frozen potatoes since I already had them on hand. Then for protein, I added a can of drained chickpeas and then poured this sauce mixture over the roasted cauliflower. At this point, my chili had been simmering away and the sweet potatoes were soft, so it was done. One of our family favorites is this creamy sausage and pepper pasta, and I usually buy ground Italian sausage, but this time I just had raw ground pork, and I seasoned it myself with things like fennel, thyme, garlic, and basil. Then I added in the rest of the prepared peppers and onions and about a half cup of cream. Really any kind works. For this quick arroz con pollo, I sauteed a sofrito of peppers, onions, cilantro, and fresh tomatoes in olive oil, salt, and pepper. While that simmered, I chopped up some red onion and dill and added that to some ground turkey for my Greek style burgers. I also added in some feta cheese and diced Kalamata olives, salt, and pepper. Then to the sofrito mixture, I added a cup and a half of rice, a quart of chicken broth, some frozen peas, and the chicken that I had prepared that I also diced up. I brought all of this to a boil and then simmered on low with the lid on for 12 minutes until perfectly fluffy. Then I went ahead and assembled my burger patties and this recipe made about two dozen. And last but not least, strombolis with homemade sourdough crust. I did prep the dough the night before. It was about one cup of sourdough starter to about three cups of all purpose, and I let that rise overnight. I made four strombolis, and to each of them, I added some tomato sauce, ricotta cheese, and shredded mozzarella, and to two of them, I added some pepperoni. Then you just fold them up like a little envelope, and be sure when you bake them to place the seam side down, and you can even poke a few holes in the top to let out steam while they bake. All right, meals are done. 10 meals that I can pop in the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I made. These are the pepper and onion and cheese quiches. 
with the banana muffins. We have chili that we can warm up later and serve with rice or cornbread. This is the taco bake with the spaghetti squash. Again, we can cut it up. You could serve it with chips or rice and then have all the different you know, toppings, guacamole, things like that. This is the egg roll in a bowl, which again, I can make fresh rice when I go to serve that. I also have some frozen spring rolls in the freezer that we can pull out and serve with it just to make it more fun. Meatloaf and mashed potatoes, which I can also add a frozen vegetable to. This is the last one I made, so it's still a little hot. This is the arroz con pollo, looking delicious. Here's the cauliflower curry, which again, I could add a meat to that. Some sliced steak or chicken would be great, but you can also have a vegetarian, again, make with fresh rice or naan would be really good. These are just the raw Greek turkey burgers, which again, I do have buns for. They're in the freezer, so that's ready to go. Just either bake them or grill them, put them on the stove top. You could really do it anyway. And then the sausage and pepper pasta sauce, creamy sauce that I will, again, make some fresh pasta. Toss it with that, warm it up, add a little bit of the pasta water to it, and we are good to go. Thank you all so much for being here and for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe and let me know in the comments if this is something you have ever done, if this is something you would like to do. I've never prepped and pre-planned meals to this extent. I've done crock pot meals before, which I can link to that video as well, but I think this is gonna serve us much better in this phase of life and just having everything mostly cooked or easy to pop in the oven is going to be so great this summer or if we you know want to give a meal to a family or friend someone has a baby or you just want to bless somebody you have it on hand ready to go ready to invite someone over you know whatever the scenario may be it is going to be a blessing any way you any way you cut it so thanks so much for being here and i'll be talking to you soon take care guys